Hey everyone, once again, it was another round of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Today, we would still got it in the 90s in many spots, but take a look at the radar. We're still seeing scattered showers and thunderstorms, mainly for the mid and lower valley. We saw some good rains in Harlingen earlier that caught some street flooding. Here's the mid valley. You can see some showers moving through Alamo, some thunderstorms earlier in Westlaco. The roads are slick out there, so please be careful when driving. We'll zoom up to the north or pan up to the north. We're still seeing some scattered thunderstorms in Sun Moon. Well, watch out for slick roads on 281 north and southbound heading out of the valley and into the valley. It's looking quieter finally in Harlingen and in Brownsville. We did see some uh, thunderstorms just not moving all that much earlier this afternoon. Temperatures have cooled off in some spots thanks to the rain. It's 77 degrees in Westlaco, 79 in McAllen, 82 in Harlingen and Raymondville, but out west still in the upper 90s in Rio Grande City. Here's your evening planner forecast. The temperatures will be around 80 degrees at 7 p.m. and 9 p.m. There is still a chance for some more scattered showers and thunderstorms throughout the evening and for tomorrow. So keep the umbrella sandy for tonight and tomorrow. 78 degrees at 11 o'clock tonight. I think by Wednesday, or rather Thursday, things will finally start to quiet down. There is a front that is just to the south of us. That's going to stall out for tonight and tomorrow. So because of that front in place, that'll serve as a focus point for more scattered showers and thunderstorms. We also have a couple of upper level disturbances that are moving right through the region. So that's going to trigger those rain chances for the next 24 hours or so. Here's future track. The front eventually fizzles out. Remember that big high that was giving us all that scorching hot weather this past weekend? It is out west over Baja California. That's going to slide slowly to the east and return to the valley, but it shouldn't be as hot as last weekend, but it is going to be hotter by this coming weekend with highs in the mid 90s. That front, that second front comes and it's moved back to the north as a warm front for Saturday and Sunday, but it should be dry just in time for our weekend. We could be looking at upper 90s though for this coming Monday and Tuesday. We'll zoom in on future track and the model thinks we see some showers and thunderstorms 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock this evening in the mid and upper valley. And then for later on this evening, maybe a chance for some showers showers and thunderstorms in the lower valley and the northern ranch lands at 1030 tomorrow morning. There is that chance for some showers and thunderstorms perhaps early around five o'clock, even six o'clock in the morning for the commute. So the rain chance is 50% chance of rain tomorrow, about a 40 to 50% chance for tonight. We're down to a 10% chance of showers on Thursday, but it should be dry for Friday and Saturday on the water. We'll have winds out of the east at five to 10 knots. The bay waters are a light chop and the sea is one to three feet. Here's your first one five vacuum weather forecast. Mostly cloudy. Keep the umbrellas handy tonight and tomorrow. There is that chance for some more scattered thunderstorms. Low temperatures in the mid 70s. Now I forecast 89 for today. We got into the mid 90s already. We're going to go with 94 for tomorrow with a 50% chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms. Partly sunny otherwise. And here's that seven day forecast. The high temperatures continue in the mid 90s Thursday and Friday. There is just a 10% chance of a shower on Thursday. 94 is your high temperature. Drier on Friday. Partly cloudy with highs in the mid 90s then a uh, Saturday is different from Sunday. Saturday's breezy and hot, but Sunday it's hot and breezy. 96 Saturday and Sunday, mostly sunny skies, mostly sunny with highs in the upper 90s for Monday and Tuesday. The morning lows are in the mid to upper 70s. That's your first one five forecast. We shall be back after this.